Welcome back to another gear up video ladies and gentlemen today we're going to be doing the APC 223 PDW by BNT so make sure to like this video if you guys like it and let's get straight into it so this is the PDW variant with the 10.3 inch barrel um, of course this game is not sizing anything for this specific weapon right now when it comes to attachments and uh, it's not being very specific and also the rail system and uh, I should say the handguard is uh, not the exact model that they're using now for the APC-223, but this is obviously the closest thing we can get. So let's get straight into it. Um, I do call it the 223 because technically this is a civilian PDW, but of course this is Call of Duty, guys. If you guys want to run it in full auto, go ahead. You can pretend like it has a full auto mod, or you can pretend like you're just using the 556 variant. But this is what it looks like in third person. And of course, we changed it up a little bit here. I did add a nice camo to it, a nice olive camo. You, you guys don't have to if you don't want to. But if you guys want this build, definitely recommend running the olive build. Or sorry, the olive camo. However, this gun does come with its original black gun steel. Or a gun metal black, I believe it's called. So uh, if you guys don't want a camo, run gun metal black. But I ran olive for this one. So hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get into the attachments. So... Just like the other videos, I cannot tune the attachments yet, ladies and gentlemen, because I don't have this unlocked in multiplayer yet. I mean, I don't have the gun maxed out, I should say. Um, I have to do this in private match. So, let's start off with the attachments here. We're going to go with the Series 4MR barrel, which is the closest thing we can get to the 10.3 inch barrel. Uh, it's almost like the actual default barrel, but this one is a tad bit shorter, which I believe is more of a PDW-like uh, size so moving to the optics here we're going to be using the SZ mini tack uh, 40 now this in real life is exactly what they use but uh, they use it on a high mount or a high rise mount this one's on a low mount so it's okay though it's technically the same exact optic a little bit of a different model but it is basically the same thing and that's as close as you can get with it of course the stock we're gonna go with the Arcom S4 which is not the stock that comes with the PDW uh, variant but you, it's definitely recommended that you run this one it, it definitely fits it more so I highly highly recommend that uh, as for the rear grip here we're gonna be using the Sacken ZX grip as always this one looks like an AR-15 grip our uh, pistol grip so definitely run this one because that's what the real life one almost looks like Moving to the underbarrel, guys, we're going to be using the F-Tac Tiger Grip. And, uh, again, that's basically it. It's too, I was going to say, here is the tune, but obviously I can't show you guys that. So, let's go ahead and jump into the shooting range. So, here we are in the shooting range, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to let you guys listen to the, uh, the firing of the weapon and let you guys see the inspection without me commentating. All right, let's, so let's get into the shooting portion of the video here. So we're gonna do this uh, headshots as always, 10 meters first. Two shots. Two shots. Three shots, 50 meters. 50, or sorry, three shots all around, uh, all the way to 50 meters, which is great. So, seems like it's very effective. Uh, I haven't tried this. I haven't tried this yet in multiplayer, but it does seem very effective. Of course, you're going to have to control that recoil a little bit more. Now, when you get that option, you're going to be able to uh, cancel out that recoil just a little bit. So, um, it's definitely not going to be as bad as mine right now. But, uh, until I get that tune ready, I'm just going to run the weapons like this. And uh, I really like the way this thing looks. 
super nice too. Very snappy. So I'd highly recommend trying this out, guys. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please let me know. I will be making a lot more in the coming days. Of course, I've been slacking on them. Not really slacking on them, but there's not many variants I really want to make. And uh, the game is pretty limited to what they have. Plus, they're not exact replicas sometimes, so it's kind of difficult to remake certain things. But I'm going to try my best to remake as much as I can. So, peace out, guys, and I hope you enjoyed.